we have to start with your Christmas plans yes. and we can already see the beautiful decor here. I think, uh, you know, obviously this is a big part of uh, our uh, Christmas celebrations. Uh, so usually first week of December, you know, is time to get everything out and up and see what new decor ideas you want to try. Like this year, I've done a boho chic tree. He what? had no idea what that was. I have was. no idea what that was. I just was told, ye dalo idhar, ye dalo idhar, and I kept doing it. But <laughs> I'm the executor. I mean, yeah. the person who does the job, not the executor. Apart from that, you know, we actually have an action-packed calendar this time. Uh, we have Prabhu Yeshu Jan Mutsa. We have... Uh, Gifts to be given to everybody. We had, I mean, we had to travel for our shoot. We are traveling again now. Yeah. So And we have uh, also the weekend is full because it's a weekend. So we have like lunches and dinners and everything planned and of course church on Sunday as well. And uh, of course we have to talk about food and sweets. Yeah. So anything that you, you guys prepare at home or anything that is a must on your Christmas lunch? Well honestly uh, I think these things were very much part of our yeah. schedule when we were younger. It was more mom and grandmom who would you know make the kalkals and you know start soaking the cake one year like two months in advance and all of that. We did go for the cake mixing this year with the we hotel. We get called, yeah, by the hotels and all that for our cake mixing. But I think the traditional, that's the one part of tradition that seems to be slowly fading away where the family gets together one month before and starts soaking the stuff in rum and, you know, doing all those things, the preparation for the Christmas cake. Yeah, so I think we're going to get a bit of it uh, when we get to go home for those few days. And, you know, but yeah, I mean, definitely miss those old days of doing, you know, yeah. all the cooking and everyone getting together as a family and all of that. And clearly you plan the decor and you execute it as you said. That's right, yeah. So, what were the new ideas this time? And Yeah, so I, I think, uh, like I said, we thought of a boho chic tree. I don't know how many people will get that. But the idea is to steer away from the old school tinsel and all of that. Yeah, and the reds and all of that and make it more gold and a bit more opulent. Yeah, and um, we also did a two-tone light this time. We did a... Uh, yellow Base layer of silver and uh, juxtaposed on top with the yellow stroke gold. Yeah, right? yeah. Bow chic. See, I, I, I get it. <laughs> yes, with champagne colors. So, yeah. That's great teamwork <laughs> yeah. for sure. And uh, the celebrations began early this time yeah. for you all. You yeah. hosted a uh, event yes. on uh, which had Christ uh, yes. as the center. Yes. So please tell us about that. So yeah, I'd like to just say one thing here. The thing is, that what's happened now with Christmas over a period of time, everyone's focusing on the Christmas tree, which is a fine, that's lovely. And everyone focuses on Santa Claus, which is the commercial aspect of Christmas. But Christmas, the reason why Christmas is celebrated is something that everyone forgets, which is basically the birth of the Christ. So they have this huge concert on Girgaon Chapati <laughs> and um, it's basically one of only three events that celebrated th allowed to be celebrated that I know. year and there were some 15,000 people it was an amazing evening the cool thing is that there are only three events which are allowed to happen you know so I think a lot of us don't even realize that I mean we don't even imagine that an event is happening on Girgaon Chapati you know what I mean so and this time of the year with the, the weather it was, and everything yeah, was beautiful it was lovely we could see the whole queen's necklace from where we were and we were on that stage and you know it just kept filling up and filling up every time we went out onto the stage there were more and more, more, more people, people yeah. and I think it was really touching for us because you know a lot of the time I get asked ki Christmas mein kya hota hai and like you know hum log Santa ko prayer karte hai like Santa is not a god you know what I mean <laughs> but people aren't aware of what it is so it was so touching that we got to have 18,000 people there and people got to learn okay. what Christmas is it's very simple it's just the birth of Jesus you know, and um, the tree and all of that is just extra. You know what I mean? The yeah. main story is that for us who we believe is God on earth, the Messiah was born in a little stable. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's the stable. That's why the cows and, the, and all of that, you know. So he was like the king of the universe, but he was born in the most humble way. And, uh, you know, the angel sang when he came into the earth and that's why we sing Christmas carols. Yeah. So it was just so beautiful to have like the carols and have like we had all the denominations together as well. So this was not just Catholic church or Protestant church or anything. It was like all denominations coming together to celebrate Christmas. So it was really, really good. Especially <laughs> after COVID, I think we need those kind of blessings yeah. and yes. the celebration as yes. well. So, so yeah. yeah, And I think it's like uh, people have... You know, we missed just being together, yeah. you know. Yeah, we all celebrated all the festivals from our homes and we did our best to make it 
you know, fun through all the digital means and everything. But just coming together, especially Christmas is all about family. It's about sharing, you know, all of the goodies and having all those, you know, I think it's about sharing the together. joy, uh, whether yeah. it's family or friends or even people who are random, you know, it just doesn't really matter. It's the spirit of Christmas that they say yeah. uh, and it needs to be shared. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that was Prabhu Yeshu Jan Matsav and hopefully it'll be bigger and better, better next year. <laughs> next yeah. year. Yeah. And uh, we have to also talk about childhood memories because yes. the best Christmases are for sure yeah. during that time and the excitement. Yes. So what are your memories, both of you? Every year is different, has its own flavor. Every season in life has a different flavor. Uh, when we were children, it was more with uh, mum and dad and grandmother and grandfather. And so for me, it, uh, a lot of the memory is <clears throat> sitting down together because I grew up in Delhi, it was very cold. Mm -hmm. So we used to sit down and, you know, it used to be like a nice place when everybody's sitting there, the, like the room gets warmer, otherwise it gets so cold in Delhi, and uh, especially during Christmas time. Um, and everyone would cut, um, in November come, November everyone was like cutting fruits. I think the weather shifted because it used to get cold even in November at that point of time. So everyone was like, you know, cutting stuff and putting it away. And yeah, that was the build up to Christmas. And then Christmas, everyone would come home. It was an open home, uh, friends, colony, everybody, people you've know, met once a year would come. Christmas was the time you met everyone and you knew who everyone was. So I think that was, it was the, the, the you know, the spirit was of sharing it with people. Yeah. And it didn't matter whether they were friends or not friends who visited us regularly. Everyone was welcome home. Mum would kick, uh, cook up a whole bunch of food. And then you just carry on from the morning, come back from church, and everyone would open their gifts, and then people start pouring in until night. Everyone was sitting down, and it was drinking and merry and food and uh, just a non stop party, I think. Yeah, I think mine was a little bit different simply because it was Chennai and uh, it was not cold in any way. <laughs> Two extremes, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it did cool off, so we would be like wearing our jackets, wow, and all of that. Uh, you know, to I'm sweating inside. Service. No, no, it's still like, okay, you can wear a light jacket. But I think, yeah, similar memories, you know, all of us getting together. And my mom would always make a big production of the crib, you know. So we always make a little crib. I mean, I've become very modern and creative with my crib. You'll see it. It's very tiny. Um, but my mom's crib would be huge. And I remember... One Christmas, we woke up in the morning and um, Jesus has been pushed out of the crib and the cat has curled up in the center of the crib with Joseph and Mary and everyone. Around. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we had, That looks like a Jesus cat. Jesus cat, yes. Uh, we, we had a lot of pets growing up. So mostly it was a similar story of these pets just destroying the decor, cats trying to climb the tree. I think one of my craziest memories is one year my dad said, let's get a real tree. Okay. Uh, and so we went on this expedition. In those days, you know, there was no regulation and everything. We went down to East Coast Road, all of us. They took out saws, my cousins, my brothers, my dad, everyone. They sawed down this, you know, fir tree. Did they get chopped off themselves or what? <laughs> I think by the time we got the tree home, it was such a like fiasco that they were like, How did they okay, load it onto a car or what? This. Again, yeah, we tied it on top of the car. There was not much of the tree left <laughs> when we got home. But, uh, and that tree, the cats really climbed. They really thought it was brought for them. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure that. But, you know, those were like the old school days where things were so simple. I mean, Ajkal, though, if you try to go and cut a tree somewhere, I'm sure you will have somebody, you know, yeah, telling you yeah. that, you know. <laughs> Unless you're a politician you or a builder. Like some rule or whatever. Somebody chop you off. Oh my gosh. But, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, in Chennai, we always used to have a lot of uh, rains. Mm -hmm. So, that was always a big gamble. So, Christmas like, is what? Uh, wet Christmas for you guys? Or? Yeah, well... We would just pray that it would get done before Christmas. And most years, we were lucky enough that at least by the 15th of December, the rains would have stopped. Uh, but there were a couple of years when it was quite sad. Because like we couldn't get most of our decor up and everything because everything was still wet. Feels rather strange and you're walking in your gumboots for yeah. water to come for Christmas, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that's our craziness. But otherwise, the cooking, the food, you know, friends coming home. And our friends had... Christmas marked that they would be at our home, whether we invited them or not, or whether there was a plan or not, you know, people would show up and be like, when are we going to church? Where's Actually, the wine? this is true. And Where's the wine was a big thing yeah. because I remember my dad's friends used to come and people even in the colony knew that, okay, we can go to their place and we'll get a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so they would land up and then my dad would say, okay, let's go, good, let's go, bye-bye and all. 
अरे नहीं नहीं मेरी क्रिसमस मेरी क्रिसमस कम से कम बैक अगेन बाय द टाइम दे गेट रिड ऑफ एवरीवन इट्स लाइक 2:00 इन द मॉर्निंग ओनली व्हाट हैपेंड या या आई थिंक इवन फॉर माय फ्रेंड्स यू नो दे वर अलाउड टू हैव दैट लिटिल ग्लास ऑफ वाइन दैट वाज गिवन इन आवर होम बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी न्यू सो इट वाज लाइक दे वुड बी वेटिंग फॉर दैट यू नो लाइक जिंजर वाइन या जिंजर वाइन एंड इवन द ग्रेप वाइन एंड एवरीथिंग या वी हैड यू नो दीस आंटीज हु आर famous for making that wine oh it's ginger is actually pretty cool it was spicy yeah. and there was chili yeah. and ginger and then water they used to make and then it's a very anglo it. indian and goan thing you know so yeah so my friends would be there ready to get their wine for the year subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon 